Hi, uh, welcome to one and all. Uh, next, uh, we are going to discuss about the multiplicative properties of the sum SKN. Uh, the first theorem is let SKN is equal to sigma d divides GCD of nk f of d g of k by d, where f and g are multiplicative. Then we have smk of ab is equal to sm of a sk of b whenever gcd of ak gcd of bm and gcd of mk are one here uh, i hope you all know what is multiplicative the functions are said to be multiplicative if f of ab is equal to or f of xy is equal to f of x f of y whenever um, the gcd of x and y are one and uh, uh, completely multiplicative if GCD is uh, if uh, it is true for all values of x and y. So here, mm, in particular cases, we have to prove that uh, SM of AB is equal to SM of A if BM is equal to 1 and SMK of A is equal to SM of A G of K if a GCD of AK is equal to 1. This is what we have to prove. So let us uh, come to the proof of this result. As you uh, are aware of a result of that G if GCD of a and k is equal to 1 and gcd of b and m equal to 1 then mk gcd of mk and ab is equal to gcd of a m times gcd of kb so this result you have already studied in you know, the first module uh, and uh, by using this result we can say that smk uh, of ab this is uh, by definition d sigma d divides m k a b f of d g of m k by d. Now this um, g c d of m k a b is uh, we can write by using this result. It is uh, d divides a g c d of a m times g c d of b k. So here the summation f d g of m k by d. Now uh, if d we write d is equal to d one d two. Clearly this uh, d one without loss of generality we can take this d1 may divide at the gcd of am and this d2 may divide gcd of bk this we can always write because this is the product of two gcds now uh, so in that case smk of ab is sigma d divides am sigma d divides uh, uh, sorry this is d1 divides am sigma d1 divides bk so this uh, we can write first uh, or uh, first we can write this as uh, separate one and then we can separate it um, that is uh, sigma d divides am sigma d divides pk f of d1 d2 g of mk by d1 d2 now we can separate this as uh, sigma d1 divides am sigma d2 divides pk f of d1 d2 f of d1 f of d2 because f is multiplicative uh, <coughs> and g of m by d1 g of k by t2 so uh, clearly this we can separate now that is sigma d1 uh, divides am f of d1 g of m by d1 sigma d2 divides gcd of bk f of d2 g of k by d2 so this is uh, by definition this is s m of a s m of a and uh, this is s k of b s k of b so this is uh, thus we have proved the first result now uh, in this result if we take k equal to 1 then this result will become k equal to 1 so smk will become sm of ab that is sm of a times s1 of b and uh, what is s1 of b <coughs> s1 of b is nothing but f of 1 g of 1 s1 of b is f of 1 g of 1 by definition and this is nothing but 1 so this will become sm of a b is sm of a so this proves the result 10 we have proved result 10 now let us come to the proof of 11 equation 11 In that for that we can take uh, b equal to 1 in 9 so if smk of a b will be reduced to smk of a because b is 1 so this will become sm of 1 sm sk of 1 why smk of a is sm of 1 sk of 1 
So this, what is this SM of 1, SK of 1? Sorry, this is SM of not 1, it is SM of A and SK of 1. SM of 1, A, SK of 1. This is a typographic mistake. Uh, SM of A, SK of 1. So, but SK of 1 is F of 1, G of K. And that is, uh, F of 1 is 1, so G of K is G of K. So, here, this SK of 1 will become G of K. Thus, we will have this SMK of A is SM of A, G of K. Please correct, note that this, this is SM of A, not SM of 1. So, thus, this proves equation 11. Now, uh, the, the next example gives the immediate consequence of the theorem that what we have studied now. Uh, as we all know that this SK of N is nothing but uh, the modification of the CK of N. So, uh, because FD is D and G of K by D is mu of K by D. So, we will replace that here and uh, thus we can reduce the results for CK of CK of N. Uh, uh, so, we can see that this C, CMK of AB will be CM of A, CK of B whenever A, GCD of AK, A and K, GCD of B and M and GCD of M and K is 1. And similarly, uh, the result CM of AB is CM of A whenever B, GCD of BM is equal to 1 and CMK of A is CM of A mu of K whenever A, GCD of AK, GCD of MK equal to 1. I hope uh, you have understood the theorem properly and uh, also the examples uh, whenever there is a typographic mistake in the results uh, I usually update uh, the corrections in my uh, next updated notes so there always will be accumulated notes with uh, all corrections so most uh, always try to take the uh, latest note for your learning Okay, thank you for your patient listening. Uh, next uh, in the next theorem we will uh, uh, we will uh, discuss in the next video. Thank you very much and uh, thank you for your patient listening.